Vast expanses of ancient boreal forest cradle the Earth's secrets. Dark waters reflect the timeless tales of this untamed land. Weathered granite whispers secrets from eons past. A journey for the spirit and a sanctuary for the soul. This is the Misanabe. Here we are, Misanabe Provincial Park. It's gonna be quite the adventure. Uh, it's already been quite the adventure just to get here. It took us about 16, 17 hours yesterday. Uh, we left at 6 a.m. from Ottawa. Should have been an 11 hour trip. We had a one hour detour to pick up a canoe. <laughs> Then we had a two and a half hour delay because of car issues. Then we got lost uh, in the dark on all of the forestry roads here. And uh, anyways, finally pulled into Missanabe Provincial Park at midnight. So yeah, it was a long day. And here we are, ready to begin the adventure. So bugs are brutal. Uh, let's get on with it. Come on. Day one of this 10 day trip would see us leave from Barkley Bay on Lake Missanabe and make our way to the Quidigine Rapids on the Missanabe River. Things started out pretty calm, but it didn't take long for the winds to pick up and make things a little bit choppy, so we opted for an early lunch on one of the first islands we spotted on Lake Missanabe. These were all pretty cool. You don't see any of this stuff very often. I should mention that I'd only run whitewater in a canoe a few times prior to this. So this trip was filled with firsts for me. These were the first rapids of the trip, and you'll hear in a moment exactly what I thought about that. That was very wet. That was great, guys. What do you think? Last one? It's plastic. It felt like a five from the bow. I got nervous. First one of the trip. I was always in the stern when we did it before. It's my first bow run. Yeah, the bow is the hard part. As evening set in, we were able to find a half-decent campsite right below Quidigine Rapids. Our trusty bug tent served as our central gathering spot while we set up tents wherever we could find space. As the sun slowly faded, we stepped onto the banks of the tranquil river for one last attempt at discovering its secrets. Decent size. Good morning. This is Nabi Day 2. Made good progress yesterday. Uh, we managed to cross Miss Nabi Lake. We um, did the first set of rapids and uh, had some trouble finding a campsite because the maps were all wrong. But, uh, and the yeah, mosquito. Lots of mosquitoes. Uh, we ended up finding a site that was not on the map, directly below the falls. Uh, so we set up here as a room for three tents. It was nice. 
we're just gonna get set up this morning. Yesterday we did 11 kilometers. Plan today we're doing 26. We're gonna go from here all the way to Peterbell. A couple of rapids in between, so get be sure to get the GoPro on that. But uh, let me just show you how bad the mosquitoes are here this morning. Those are stuck between the tent and the fly. And all, all you hear is the buzz. It actually sounds like it's raining, but it's all the bugs hitting the tent. It's brutal. Anyways, time to get started. I'm feeling tired. After completing our first set of rapids for the day, glances skyward assured us that a thunderstorm was closing in. We knew this meant we'd have to get off the river soon, so we kept our eyes peeled for any usable site. Yeah. Out the side? So we're back on the water after being marooned at our campsite for about two and a half hours because of a pretty bad storm. We had some good lightning, some good thunder, but we got to eat lunch. Uh, what time is it? 4.30. We're going to run another set of rapids. This is Sun Rapids and then try to hit the next campsite called Barrel. Uh, and then if we feel like it, we may actually push on to Peterbell, but we'll have to see. So here we go. So Riley and I were the lead boat on Sun Rapids and uh, as we were coming down we noticed a huge uh, couple of pillows and then some holes and then by the time we noticed them there was absolutely nothing we could do to avoid them so we basically just hoped for the best but we flipped. So the uh, good thing is we had two other boats with us. Dan was able to come down grab the canoe, we swam to shore. It was a little bit scary because uh, I had the, knees, the thigh straps on and I had trouble slipping out of them. but. Anyways, we're all safe. Riley's brave. They're going to go uh, try to run it again with Dan. I'm sitting this one out. Um, I'm fine watching from here. Anyways, let's check out how they do. Lyra, who is Riley's dog, is wondering what Riley's up to. She keeps trying to run up there, but uh, she's gonna stay here with me and watch from the bottom of the rapids. Oh. 
Ist er zweit? Good job, guys. After that dump at Sun Rapids, it was great to have my trim mates step up and help rebuild those confidence levels. Dan took point while Rob and Deb paddled behind us, and Riley and I, and Lyra, rode middle boat through a long set of relatively easy rapids. After a long day of paddling, our first thunderstorm, and our first dump of the trip, it was great to come upon a nice campsite. Our tents are set up, the clothesline is up. Next, it's time for a little relaxation. Going for a swing. Come on, Lyra. Come here. Watch out, there's a log right here, guys. Okay, a little bit brambly. That's some good current. It's really good. There's all our wet clothes from the day. We actually went swimming with it, but we also got caught in a storm and Riley and I dumped. So every we've got two full clotheslines and right now we're just making some dehydrated chili that I prepared a couple of weeks ago. Should be delicious, looking forward to it. And then we're hitting the sack early tonight, getting an early start tomorrow. This is my world famous chili for dinner. Woo! World famous. World famous. World famous. Here's the beautiful sunset on day two. We've got our canoes beached over here. Tomorrow we'll continue down day three. I don't really know what we have in store. We're gonna go, we slept above Peter Bell. So we'll be probably lunching at Peter Bell tomorrow and continue on for some rapids from there. Good night from day two. Good morning from day three. So we slept below barrel uh, rapids. Today, uh, we're just waking up. We're gonna see what kind of distance we wanna do, but the plan yesterday was to make it to Peter Bell and we didn't because we got caught in the storm and uh, had to pull over and just camp it for about two and a half hours. So that set us back, but we're so happy with the progress we made to get to Barrow Falls. Uh, pretty decent campsite, like I showed you guys last night. But uh, check out the bugs here. They were actually not too bad, but this morning, holy man. Look at that. Now that is between the tent and the fly of the tent. Thank goodness, but there's no shortage of bugs here. <laughs> it's brutal. Day three, we're almost packed up and ready to go. Down there. Interesting. Hey, I could. Yeah. It looks like 
there was a bridge or something here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it would have been to pull it across. This is kind of cool. You guys should come take a look if you're interested. On the morning of day three, we arrived at Peterbell, where even to this day, remnants of the old railway town still exist. On the surface and surface. Take a bag, fill it with rocks. Yeah. Ten feet water and I'm good. I can even see that. So we just took a break at the Peterbell Bridge. That was actually where we wanted to start our trip. We had planned to go into Foliet, take the uh, via rail, load up the canoes and start from this point. Unfortunately, uh, via didn't have room for the canoes. So we instead started at Missanabe Provincial Park at Barkley Bay and uh, had two days of paddling. This is day three, we just crossed over the bridge back there and we're gonna see if we can find the old ruins of the town of Peterbell. So if not we're not gonna uh, look too hard we're just kind of taking a quick peek and then continuing on see what we can find. Here. There's Rob he's a little bit crazy but uh, whatever floats his boat. <laughs> Not jumping. Not jumping. There's an old hydro pole. Everything else around here is fairly recent. There's a few more of the old hydro poles down there, but uh, we could see a few of the old ruins down by the river, but that's about it. Yeah, that's what I was pointing. No, that's unexpected. Look at that giant rock on the end, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. We've arrived at Swamp Rapids. We're not too sure if it's called Swamp Rapids because it was right after Peterbell Swamp or if it's because you're likely to swamp your canoe because uh, to me they look big. To someone else a little more, well, far more experienced than me or even a little bit more experienced than me, I think these are probably runnable. The rest of the crew is out there checking it out. Um, 
I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Here, I'll give you guys a look. Here are our Swamp Rapids. So we've got a nice smooth couple little bumps over here. Looks like a nice tongue in over here. Uh, possibly all the way down. I haven't scouted that yet. To me, I think I'd probably want to head down to the right towards those cedars, but I'm no expert. I'm literally just getting started in whitewater. So the others might tell me otherwise. Dan, who's over here, is our huge whitewater expert. So I'm curious to see what he recommends. And the rest of the crew is already down further, checking things out. Okay, so I was partially right, or at least I was right for the top half. So come down this nice line here and then avoid all these haystacks. So basically try to, well, also avoid that rock that's there. We believe there's probably, am I pointing in the right place? Yeah, rock right around there. So try to aim to the right, but pop out just past that. And here are the experts conferring about the lower section, and we'll see what they say about that. There's Lyra waiting patiently for us to run the rapids. Hi. Hey, puppy girl. Here come Robin Deb. After Robin Deb it was time for Dan and I to give it a shot. Let's take a look at that again from inside the boat with Dan's expert instruction. Easy forward. Forward. Stop. Hard draw. Yeah. Yep. Stop. Forward. Turn left. Forward. We're going to ferry across. And forward. Right tilt. Try. And with that, the day was almost over. We set up our tents, ate dinner, and called it an early night, preparing ourselves for what lay ahead tomorrow. Okay, everybody, day three on the Missinabi. See you guys tomorrow. Here ends part one of my Missanabe series. Stay tuned for part two coming soon. And in the meantime, here's some bonus footage of Dan and Rob running Swamp Rapids on the mighty Missanabe.